Does waking up at 5 a.m. make you healthier? According to Google, it does. We documented the last seven days putting this theory to the test to see how true it really is. Will it make me and Rosie feel better, more productive, or will it have the opposite effect and actually make us both feel worse? There's only one rule over the next seven days and that is no snoozing the alarm. Let's see how it goes. So it's Sunday night. We want to get eight hours sleep. We need eight hours sleep. Yes, we and don't... we've already messed up. Yeah, it's what's the time? It's 10 p.m. <laughs> and if we wake up at 5 p.m., that means we've had seven hours sleep. So we need to go to bed literally now to get seven hours sleep. We do, but I can't lie. I'm not going to fall asleep in five minutes. Oh, I am. I'm so tired. You are? Yeah, I'm, I like this schedule. I'm not going to fall asleep at least for another hour. Are you going to fall asleep for another hour? She's sleepy already. She's up so <laughs> 5am, <laughs> alarm set. Done. Oh. <laughs> Good night. Night. <laughs> this is going to be fun. <laughs> this is the earliest I've gone to bed since I went to school. Come on. <laughs> We've pressed snooze once already. Daisy and Poppy are away. It's nine minutes past five. Oh. We should have been out of bed nine minutes ago. <laughs> See, the thing that we have to be grateful for is that we're doing this at the end of May. No. So that it's light outside already. At 5 a.m. the sun's literally already risen. So it makes it so yeah, much thought, easier. I thought it would be darker this, you know? Yeah, it makes it so much easier. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> What the hell was that? <laughs> the first thing you do in your wake up. Bed's a bit squeaky. Quarter past five. Most YouTubers would fake this challenge. We're staying committed. We actually are. We're staying committed. Somebody doesn't want to get up though. Daisy, you need to get up too. <laughs> You're doing this challenge too. Look how happy she is. Look at your little tail. <laughs> Come on, let's go to the toilet. Come on, let's go to the toilet. She genuinely doesn't want to get up at <laughs> <laughs> The time is 7 a.m. and we almost finished our workout. I'm feeling so good. I feel completely normal as if I got up like on a normal day, which is weird. I don't know why, it will probably hit me a lot later, but I didn't do like a full workout today because my workout day was yesterday and tomorrow, so I just did some treadmill. Harry's still working out, but I'm gonna head inside now, get ready, have a shower, and then have some food because I'm actually really, really hungry. We're now on our way to Starbucks because we wanted to try matcha for the first time. Neither of us have ever tried a matcha, like a hot matcha or a cold matcha. It's something that we want to get into and we want to like it has so much caffeine in it but in like a healthy way Wait, are you sure we haven't tried it i'm because pretty sure you know that time we were in manchester and i had that green drink from the middle of traffic center yeah that was, was that matcha it was that was like, horrible <laughs> i know this is the thing but i can't really remember what it tastes like and i want to try it again it's got a good amount of caffeine but in a healthy way that doesn't make you feel like anxiety or give you the jitters apparently that's what it says online i feel like what we need to do is put a little bit of vanilla in there yes a little Definitely. bit of vanilla because I feel like that's what I didn't do last time. Yeah. If it is the same drink, if it is, it tastes like grass. <laughs> yeah, that's like, what I think it is gonna taste like. I don't wanna mess it up. <laughs> Harry's two, been practicing his two, ma two vanilla mat two iced vanilla matches. Two iced medium vanilla matches. Two, two <laughs> <laughs> it's such a mouth. With soy milk. Can I please go Jesus Christ soy milk? Can I please get two vanilla iced mocha no. No, you're gonna mess it up. Hi. Can I get um a medium iced vanilla matcha with soy milk. Yeah, of course you can. Um, yeah, can, you. can we get two of them as well? Yeah, two of those. Two medium iced vanilla matchas with soy milk. That's it, yeah. Thank and you so much. Anything else here, Harry? Uh, that's all good. You've, you have one every time. <laughs> it's alright. So you're on our CCTV, mate. <laughs> that's, 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 that, we're too regular at Starbucks. Yeah, we're too that's regular. That's how you know you're too regular when they start to know your name. Yeah. Got the matcha. It's very, um, that girl aesthetic it is that girl aesthetic it is uh, it smells sweet i really hope i like it because i'm not gonna lie i, tr I drink way too much coffee guys and yeah. like i do need another drink so hopefully this one really? tastes good what are you thinking oh it's not a great start <laughs> i just i don't think i can like that taste oh is it like grass and like mint it's actually not bad you know them types of drinks where you just have to drink slowly i don't know okay. i think we can make that work let me try 
I don't mind that. It's not too bad, is it? It's, it is like quite tea. It tastes like an Aero milkshake. Actually, now you've said that, I'm pretty sure I've seen a TikTok of someone saying like how to make an Aero milkshake. It's got like a chocolatey taste. That's not bad. It's like, not, is it? No, that's actually not bad. Rosie never drinks caffeine. No. Never. No. And this, this has antioxidants in. Oh, same as a coffee. I'm so gonna be sat on the toilet. If you're, if you drink that whole thing, you might be on the toilet all day. Do you think I actually will? Well, yeah, when I drink a coffee, I'm like, straight on the toilet. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Well, I'll see you guys on the toilet, maybe. <laughs> so here's my Starbucks, all done. Do you know what yours? It's really nice. Drink it. I don't really like it. Drink it. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you don't like it, it's really nice. It just tastes like grass. Mm. I really want to like it, but I don't. Drink it now! I don't like it! You naughty little boy! <laughs> okay, so the time is currently 3 p.m. and the amount of stuff that we've done today is incredible we've like we've done the same stuff as we do every single day we're obviously recording videos for you guys on tiktok shorts instagram recording this video but the amount of time that we've done it it feels so refreshing like normally we'd, we'd kind of wake up we'd film all our stuff and by the next minute it'd be like 6 p.m and we're like where did the day go like why has it gone so fast so for it to be 3 p.m and we've done everything in our day and the sun's still shining and we can still enjoy the day look at that 3 p.m why have we never got up this early before I feel amazing, I feel so good. I thought I'd feel tired, but guys, I don't even feel tired. Rosie doesn't feel tired. I actually feel more awake today than most days. And I'm not even just saying this for the video. I know I don't want you guys to think, oh, we're doing a 5 a.m. challenge and we're just lying about how we feel. You can see my energy right now. I feel so good. It might have been that matcha tea and I did have a few toilet trips because of that matcha tea, I can't lie. But let's not talk about that. So considering how I'm feeling today, I'm really interested to see how I feel by the end of the week of completing a whole 5 a.m. wake up every single day for seven days. But I can't lie right now, I'm feeling good. But in seven days time, we'll see where we're at. Set the alarm for 5 a.m. There we go. Can we do it again? That is yep. the question. I felt amazing all day today. I've had no issues. <laughs> Stop. Can you talk to the camera? Stop. I've had no issues all day today. Yeah. And, um. <laughs> Keep talking. I'm listening. You've had no issues. I've had so much energy. <laughs> <laughs> we need to be asleep in 15 minutes to be able to go to bed and then have seven hours sleep again. We will see you guys at 5 a.m. again yes. for another productive day. I'm gonna fart. No. <laughs> Bubs, that was so loud. That was so loud. That gets you back no, from no, no, this no, no, morning. No, 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 no. Right. That literally gets you back from this morning. That's, that's gonna smell as well. The first thing you said to me this morning, your asshole spoke to me before you actually. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and the last thing you're probably gonna say to me was that. Yeah. So your ass will just say good night, basically. You you um say good morning with your ass, and I say good night. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> well, guys, on that note, we'll see you at 5 a.m. <laughs> Throughout the next three days, we found waking up at 5 a.m. not too difficult, but Daisy, <laughs> she definitely did. Even though we're only four days in, what we can say is that we've noticed our bodies feel way more awake. We definitely have at least 40% more energy, and the most obvious one, we found that we have way more time in the day to really allow ourselves to live in the moment and not worry about anything else. Although, on day four, even though I woke up at 5 a.m., I did go downstairs and sleep on the sofa for another hour, but we won't talk about that. So I've been reading online and I found that one of the things that you can do to make yourself feel a lot more awake in the morning, more refreshed, just more rejuvenated, just feeling better in yourself is doing like a different or a more advanced like slash longer skincare routine. So I've taken it upon myself today to invest in a good half an hour to spend my time doing my skincare and just give my face like a whole nice new glow to it because since being diagnosed with PCOS, my skin has been breaking out I've got hormonal acne and I just need to help my skin for that respect and also help myself feeling better today because I'm feeling tired every single product that I'm gonna be using on my face today is from beauty bio I don't know if you guys have seen before we always use a hydrofacial from beauty bio it's like a handheld one and we just use it like once a week on our face to suck out all the oils and impurities I think the first and the most important part of a whole rejuvenating facial and skincare routine to wake you up is an ice roller. I ha this doesn't look frozen, but the it's like kind of melting. It's been in the freezer for the last hour this morning. And I have been using this every single morning when I go downstairs. I do my journaling, I 
am my lemon water. I don't know about you guys, but every time I wake up in the morning, my face is so puffy. I'm just like really tired. I've cleansed my face. The first thing I'm going to do is use the Glow Pro Skin Prep Pads. These are basically just little pads to clean your skin for doing like a full skincare routine they don't have all the horrible chemicals that makeup wipes have in them can you see the like dirt already coming off my skin look at how professional this looks it looks like a trophy like i'm so excited to use this and show you guys how i use it so it comes with two different attachments there's like this bigger one which is to micro needle parts of your body like down your neck and stuff because the needles are a bit bigger and then there's this smaller attachment here, which is used for your face. So I'm gonna be actually taking that attachment off. When you turn it on, it's even got a little LED red light, which helps minimize any inflammation and just like help your skin so many ways. I had a facial the other day and they used a red light on my face and it instantly made the redness of my face just disappear. I'll use this micro needling tool on my face about three times a week for about a minute at a time. So you don't wanna overdo it because obviously the needles are quite like sharp and it will just end up like hurting your face. After my cleaning my face and all my pores are open, I then like to go in with a serum. After I've microneedled, it's like so important to put on a serum because it basically soaks all into your pores a lot more easier because they're more open. And then I've got these three serums called the Reversal Pack. They're basically a three week serum course for your face. You use this one in phase one. It says phase one on it. Then this one is phase two and this is phase three. You use each one for a week at a time. Well, the internet was definitely not lying when it said to do a more in-depth skincare routine to make you feel more awake. I've linked every single individual product down in the description below, as well as the main Beauty Bio page as well. They have so many different skincare products, as well as actual tools to use on your face, like the microneedling, the ice roller, and then the, like the Hydra facial that we've shown you guys before. But yeah, everything's linked down in the description if you did want to check out any of these products from Beauty Bio. Okay guys, it's another day, another early morning, and today we're in a studio in Manchester shooting for something quite special. Something really exciting, we've not told anyone. No. no one knows, it's not been announced yet anywhere, but we're gonna tell you soon. Rosie doesn't wanna tell yeah. anyone just yet. It's actually nothing to do with me, it's actually just to do with Rosie. I mean, it might end up being something to do with me, I don't know, but this girl has booked this studio for 100 pounds. Was it 100 pounds? Yeah. 100 pounds for one hour. She could have got pictures anywhere. All in this studio, look how beautiful this sofa is. Look, all these sofas over here. All she wanted was a white wall. <laughs> that's all you wanted? Yeah, that's what I needed. <laughs> She's like booked 100 pounds to come and get a picture at a white wall. I mean, whatever it takes to make you happy. <laughs> My um, face mask has gone so like patchy now because it's really hot in here. And you know when a clay mask dries, yeah. it's gone all patchy. Yeah, it looks cool though. Do you think? Yeah. It's like you're like a little tiger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so so cringe. That was funny. Yeah, don't do that again. That was, that was an ick. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you do that? I don't know. Yeah, everyone go put that in the comments that Rosie's an ick after that. <laughs> 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 We've got the face mask, the green smoothie, all the essentials, and oh, it's all done. It's a wrap. It's all done. It's a wrap. But I think you guys need to leave your guesses in the of comments. What's going on in yeah. the comments? Because I feel like this is really random. Like it looks <laughs> like something random's happening. It does look random. So You're in here getting a picture of a white background with a green face mask, yeah. a green smoothie. I don't know. I actually feel like quite a lot of people will guess it. Put your guesses down in the comments to see if you know what we're doing here and what Roji's actually up to. Because I feel like a couple of you might know. Today's definitely been the best day so far i don't feel tired i haven't had a little crash in the afternoon i feel really really good i just say the only thing i've noticed so far this week is that i obviously am getting really tired towards the end of the day when it gets to about like dinner time i'm tired and then i'm ready to go to bed at about nine my sleeping schedule is already changing which is a good thing but i am finding it hard to want to go to sleep at like nine because even right now in the summertime in the uk it's like light still at nine o'clock so it's a bit hard to fall asleep at that time but so far everything's been going really really good
The time is now 8 a.m. We've worked out, we've journaled, we've had a healthy lemon ginger water. It's the same routine that I do. Like I will always get up, do my journaling, have lemon water and I'll work out all the time in the morning. But I'll usually do that from about half past seven to about half past nine. But how well, are you feeling? I feel good. Yeah? I feel I feel like I feel more awake than like I thought I would though. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's what's crazy. Like I didn't think I'd feel I thought by like eight, I'd feel like I want to go to bed again. Yeah. And then I feel like I'd be more awake by like 11. But yeah, I, do you know what? I actually feel more awake than most days. That's so good. By waking up this early. you've had more of a productive morning. I've never got up this early for the past like... 25 years of your life. <laughs> since I was a bin man. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> I used to be a bin man, guys. Fun fact. Like I had like 20 jobs and that was one of my 20 jobs. Yeah. But that was the only job I had to wake up at 5 a.m. And I hated it. But now you're Now I get to wake up, film for you guys at 5 a.m. And you feel blessed. Wow, that's a whole circle moment. That is. That's, that's crazy. crazy, isn't it? On day one of waking up at 5 a.m., the goal was to see if this challenge would make us feel healthier. And now coming to the end of the week, we can honestly say we have felt like the best versions of ourselves. Harry definitely struggled more than I did as he's not the morning person in our relationship. But I think it's safe to say that after this week, it's actually made Harry finally become at least 90% closer to being a morning person. And I never thought those words would ever come out of my mouth. Well, we did it. It's done. We it's completed done. the challenge. We did a whole week of waking up at 5 a.m. We did. Even though today we woke up at half past five. It was a later day. It's a bit later, but it's technically done. But the question is, are you going to do it every day now for the rest of your life? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Are you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 What the hell was that? <laughs>